Coming up, Warner Brothers have leaked Hogwarts Legacy's release time. Voice actor of Arthur from Red Dead Redemption 2 is apparently working with the next Call of Duty. And Assassin's Creed Infinity will be a reboot to Assassin's Creed? Hey what's up guys, my name is Gin Manus and welcome back to the weekly running show of Gamer Connect where today I'm going to tell you the top gaming news of this very week. We never had a modern day Harry Potter game but Warner Brothers is going to make one with Hogwarts Legacy. Last year Warner Brothers showed a new trailer for Hogwarts Legacy, seemingly an RPG game based on the universe of Harry Potter but apparently you can make your own character go through series of events. Well all of that is great but when is the game coming out? According to a recent interview, someone from Warner Brothers mentioned how Warner Brothers is planning for the 2022 year. In that, they did talk about the release date of the game. They mentioned that they have currently two new content planned from Warner Brothers. One is Fantastic Beast: The Secret of Dumbledore, which will be releasing on April 8th next year. And as for Hogwarts Legacy, it will be the second major content after the movie is out, which means the game will be coming out sometime after April 8th. With that being said, it means that the game is coming out between 8th April to December 31st, 2022. As for the game, not much was mentioned other than the fact that it is going to be an open world RPG game where your character has been selected late to the visiting school but you do possess some unique powers which you will learn as you will grow. We have seen Harry Potter games in the past that has very much adhered to the movie and some of them are pretty good with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets game being the most known one. So only time will tell what type of RPG game Warner Brothers or actually Avalanche Studios for that matter is going to create when the game comes out. It looks like Troy Baker who has played Joel from Last of Us and Roger Clark who have played Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2 are working together in a studio. An image was posted by Roger Clark in his Instagram on how he loved working with Troy but the community is buzzing and talking on what game are they working with. Some people say that it could be possible that they're working on the Wolverine game from Insomniac since Troy Baker worked on Insomniac's Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales game. So it could be possible that they're working together on that project. There are more speculations over on Reddit that they're working for Modern Warfare 2, the next Call of Duty game that is rumored to be coming next year. The reason for this is because Troy Baker did work for Infinity Ward when they were working on Advanced Warfare. So it could be possible that Troy Baker is working with Roger Clark on Modern Warfare 2 2022. But again, that rumor could be proven false because if Modern Warfare 2 is supposed to come out next year, why is the mocap suit thing happening now? Then again, it could also be possible that Roger Clark took that photo a few months ago and is now posting it on Instagram. There's a lot of possibilities in the world of internet, so the rumors keep on going and we will never know what game they're working on until it's officially announced. However, a lot of people do speculate that this could be Modern Warfare 2 because there is a photo comparison over on Reddit but one photo shows the Infinity Ward capture place and the other photo shows Troy and Roger where the helmet design is exactly the same. So that led to a lot of people believe that since the signs are same on the helmets, it definitely is Infinity Ward. But again, it's just a rumor and speculations. It could be anything. So what do you guys think about what game are they working on together? Could it be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022? Or could it be the new Wolverine game? Or it is absolutely something else. A few months ago, we got to know the next Assassin's Creed game, which will be called Assassin's Creed Infinity based on a rumor. It was first rumored to be a live service game, although nothing is really confirmed. So now you're expecting me to deliver a confirmed news. Nope, that's not happening because we have yet another rumor. This time, it's coming from 4chan thread. The rumor talks about how the game will launch with three different 16th century cities and locations and more will be added as free expansions. It looks like the game is going to be some sort of a reboot to the entire franchise. Many of the defining moments of the series will remain the same but conflicting events or stories that are widely disliked will either be retold or removed entirely from the new continuity. The game is not going to focus on a single assassin and will instead release for free with a number of small stories each featuring a different assassin. After the initial release, additional stories will be available for an undetermined amount. 
Well, this is all a rumor, so I would obviously say do take this with a pinch of salt and do not take this seriously. But then again, a rumor to be posted on Reddit always have to prove to the admins that there is some kind of a proof behind this kind of rumor. So with that being said, it could be possible that there's some truth with this rumor. It's too early to talk in my opinion about the next Assassin's Creed since Ubisoft is still going on with Valhalla, which is absolutely crazy since it's the first game that has kept on going and adding new content more than any of the Assassin's Creed game. Maybe next year we get to see more news about Assassin's Creed Infinity, if that is the name. There's some brand new evidence in the internet which says that there could be either a Fantastic Four Marvel game or an Ant-Man Marvel game. This is coming from a scriptwriter Mark Bernardin who was in an episode of Fat Man Beyond Show and he talked about him working with Amy Hennig who has worked on Uncharted games before. Currently, Amy is heading the Skydance newly formed development crew who will be working on a new Marvel game as Skydance did announce it last week by mentioning that it will be a narrative-driven action-adventure game complete with an original tale. Now in that podcast where Mark talked about him working with Amy, the chat was very close to knowing the name of the game that they might be working on. So it was either a Fantastic Four game or an Ant-Man game according to the host. Marvel currently has a lot of games released from different studios with Insomniac bringing Spider-Man and now bringing Wolverine, while Crystal Dynamics made Marvel's Avengers and Eidos Interactive recently released a major successful Guardians of the Galaxy. It's definitely possible for Marvel to spread its wing and bring new superheroes into the games. In terms of movies, Fantastic Four has been terrible. There was not so great movie, then the reboot happened, which is even worse than the first movie. So obviously Marvel's track record on Fantastic Four is not the very best, but maybe before they can release the new Fantastic Four that is coming on in the next phase of Marvel, a game could arrive as well. Or maybe they could arrive at the same time. What would you guys like to play more? A Fantastic Four Marvel game or an Ant-Man Marvel game? Let me know in the comments below. And that was top gaming news of this very week. Make sure to comment down below what do you think about any of the news we just discussed and also subscribe to this channel to watch more news content every single week without fail. So hit that notification bell icon and make sure to turn on to all so that you can get notified when this video drops every week.